Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna answer all of your questions about my recent travel to Peru. Let's get started. So let me begin by answering the most frequent questions that you guys have for me. Where did I go and what did I do in Peru? I'm gonna show you my itinerary and this is what it looks like. After 15 hours sitting on the plane between Vancouver, Peru, and Lima, I finally arrived at the beautiful city of Cusco. Situated at 3,300 meters above sea level, you immediately feel pressured to acclimatize to the high altitude. So here's my first recommendation. If you're flying directly from Lima to Cusco, your first destination should be your hotel. Immediately go into check-in, drop your stuff, and ask for coca tea. That is their local remedy to curing high altitude sickness. Have a couple of coca tea and a 20 minute power nap. This is going to be super beneficial for you. Learn from my mistakes so you don't have to experience the pain I went through on my first day. When you're at Cusco, you definitely have to visit the town center Plaza de Armas, see the locals going about their day. Be sure to haggle in the markets and get yourself some beautiful local baby alpaca sweaters. It's a must buy whether it's for yourself or as a souvenir. Next station, Machu Picchu. Here begins your long four and a half hour journey on a train into the little village of Aguas Calientes, which sits at the foothill of Machu Picchu. I recommend for those that are planning to hike Machu Picchu that you actually take a day before to rest in Aguas Calientes so you are prepared. While you're there, there's actually not much to do besides somewhere sweater shopping and eating. That's all you can do. Eat, 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 and sleep. Get prepared. Pro tip number two. If you want to catch the first wave of buses going up to Mount Machu Picchu, buy your bus pass in advance. Because if you don't and you wait for the day of, this is what's going to happen. And you see all the tourists waiting for the bus ticketing center to open so that they can get their first ticket. However, they're not going to make it on time because the ticket center does not open early. After a couple minutes walking past the entrance, voila, this is your view. Enjoy the hike. Remember to bring a bottle of water and probably two chocolate bars and you're good to go. Take lots and lots of pictures and be sure to stop by the alpacas when you're coming down. Paracas, the beautiful seaside city of Peru where you get to see many many amazing animals. This is also the place where the desert meets the sea. When you're at Paracas, you definitely have to rent an ATV and take it right into the National Reserve. It's going to be one of the best experiences in your life. Last but not least, Huacachina the oasis in the middle of a desert. Have fun, it's gonna be amazing time, whether you're riding the dune buggy or when you're sandboarding down. And now for the third and final tip of this video, if you're ever walking up a sand dune, avoid walking from the middle up because the sand is actually very soft and cannot support you. Instead, the better alternative is to walk on the edge where the sand is solid and you'll find yourself having a much easier hike, even if it means Taking a longer route initially, you'll end up with a more efficient and energy saving route. Next question, how long was the trip? The answer, six plus two plus one. I had six days of full on adventure while I was in Peru, and then two days of flight before and after, and then one day of rest when I came back to Canada. Why did I choose to go to Peru? The short answer, I wanted to hike Machu Picchu. The longer answer, I wanted to challenge myself going to a new continent, to a completely new environment, in fact to a place where I didn't even speak the local language was the challenge that I wanted to give to myself and to see how I overcame these obstacles and survive I guess for the six days there. It was an absolute amazing experience for me and it was a lot of self-discovering and that's why I chose to go to Peru. I would say stepping out of the comfort zone is the theme of me and my early days. Okay, so that's about it for today. Hopefully you guys learned something about traveling in Peru. If there is any questions that I didn't cover today, feel free to leave me a message or a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you all for the support and if this is some content that you would like, you can consider liking and subscribing. That's all. See you guys next time. Bye bye.